Hi everyone. Today I want to cover something that gets a little bit misconstrued when businesses are going through a scale up. And to be frank, it's the definition between the transition from startup to scale up. So what you find is when a business first gets off the ground, it, it, it happens, you know, quickly, it's exciting. Usually there's a very, very clear understanding between the customer, the client you're trying to serve, the problem they have and the solution that's going to solve that problem. And what you find happens is you can get very, very quick growth in startup, partly because there isn't a lot of complexity, partly because you are super focused, you're consistent with the things that you are doing and, and everything seems to just work. And what happens is, is many businesses, they get this, this air of confidence about them when this is, this is going on. They start to think that everything they do is gonna work, everything they touch is gonna turn to gold. And it's a great time. It's a fantastic time. Then what happens is interesting because businesses often hit a plateau. It's not necessarily that they stop growing. Sometimes they do, sometimes they stop and they start going backwards. More often than not that they hit this plateau and all the expectations, all the excitement at startup just seems to fall away. Now there's a couple of reasons for that. One of the reasons is that as you start to grow, um, complexity just starts to happen naturally. More customers, more clients, more people, more teams to lead, uh, more kind of you know bills to pay, things to manage. It just adds complexity. And complexity, once it starts to come into an organization without being managed, can cause things to really start to slow down. My advice to you in that situation, when you're in that position, when you're starting to feel that, it's a good thing because it means you're, you're about to take that next stage of the journey. But the way around that is you've got to start to measure stuff. A lot of people, when they, when they start a business, they have some metrics in place, but they don't measure enough of the things that are really, really important. So start to measure the key drivers of your business. Start to think about how you bring customers in, how you manage the sales process, how you look at um, both your margins in terms of efficiency and effectiveness, but also around your, your cash runway and your, and your gearing. Start to think about operational processes and, and absolutely start thinking about how you measure culture and performance and how people are delivering for you, both, both employees and suppliers. So that's the first point. Second thing is if you really want to drive hard into scale up, you've got to learn to leverage effectively. And leverage is really about looking at all the different tasks that you have to do and then working out how you can delegate those tasks to other people. Now, they can be people within your business, they can be suppliers, they can be partners. But the, the key thing is, as a leader in a business that's going through startup to scale up, you need to take yourself out of the day to day so that you are working on the business as much as you possibly can. And the ability to leverage is hard because many entrepreneurs, many founders, what they do is they want to control. And in the beginning, when it's you and a couple of people, that's quite easy to do. But as soon as you start to get that complexity, you're starting to bring more things into the business, it becomes so much more difficult. So the ability to leverage is the next tip. So if you're going to measure things, you're going to start to understand what's going on. Then you need to be able to work out what you can leverage and the stuff that you then hold on to that's vital for the business. And then the last piece is, is what I call proper scale. It's, it's, the, it's the ability to then uh, turn all of those various things, the processes that you've put in place, the measurement that you've put in place, all of that leverage. Once that's working in a way that's predictable, that's when you can really drive scale up. And it's an exciting part, right? It's a really exciting part of the whole growth play of a business. Because in many cases, if you do it well, it starts to give you those first touches of freedom you know, as the business owner, as the person who's trying to kind of create something that's going to give them freedom, create wealth for them. That ability to kind of leverage and scale is the thing that you desperately want. Now, I have seven businesses. I'm not really that operational in any of them. And the reason I can do that is I've mastered the art of that leverage to scale piece. Okay, so that's it. A couple of quick tips for all of you now who are in that sort of startup to scale up phase. You may be intimidated by it. You may think this is going to be tough going it's going to be emotionally hard those things are true but you know don't forget the reason why you started your business and that why is something that will drive you forward the rest of it is mechanics bye for now